In today's video, we're gonna be talking about burnout. I'm gonna be talking to you about the main causes and some ideas on how to overcome it. So make sure you take some notes, share it with someone who needs it, and give the video some love when you find value. Let me ask you this. Do you ever feel perpetually exhausted or unaccomplished or unappreciated? Do you feel like you're detaching? Your energy is going down, you're lacking creativity, or you have anxiety setting in? Let me tell you something. You may be burning out. Nearly 60% of North Americans right now are reporting some levels of current burnout in their life. I see it all the time with people I interact with. People are burnt out. And if you're feeling this way or you've ever felt this way, I know I have. I want you to know that by understanding some of the key reasons and triggers that cause this, this is gonna dramatically help you overcome it. Knowing and understanding is the first key. Implementing a strategy to overcome is the second. So here are the reasons that you and others may be burnt out. Firstly, you lack clarity of purpose in your life. Most people, if they're being honest with themselves, are unsure what they are trying to accomplish and working so hard for. They know they need to pay the mortgage. They know they need to pay their property taxes. They know they have to pay for their kids' education. But those don't fulfill the ultimate purpose. Why are you gonna spend 30, 40, 50 years of your life doing something? It can't just be to get by. When's the last time you sat down and got super clear? Have you ever sat down and made clearly defined goals? If you're not working towards a milestone that excites you, then chances are your life feels redundant, mundane, and you get lost on the day to day. I have felt this way before too, but the way I overcame it is I sat down and I set up milestone rewards program. And I encourage you to do the same. I set up a monthly, a quarterly, or an annual goal that when I hit my target, we do something special. Quite often, my wife and I, when we hit a business goal after a quarter, we go out of town for a night and we anchor the win. That way we're excited and focused on the next milestone in our life. Secondly is, you might be the source of your own stress. Too many of us create our own stress. This is a huge problem for a lot of us. And it starts with our unwillingness to acknowledge that we might be the problem. There's a lot of ways that we can create our own stress. For example, it might be our poor money decisions over a long period of time. That could lead to stress. Maybe it's that we're unhappy with our job, yet unwilling to do anything about it. It could be that over the years, we develop poor relationships and we continue to keep low standards for them so we are unmotivated to make changes. For others, their source of stress might come from being a perfectionist and everything needs to be perfect all the time and it's burning them all. If you fall into this category, something that might help you is start by making a list of all the things in your life right now that overwhelm you. Have a reality check meeting with yourself and maybe involve somebody else, somebody you care about, somebody you love, as kind of a third party to see any blind spots that you might have. And once you have that list, I want you to rate yourself stress level one to 10 on each one of those things. One by one through self-awareness, start making changes. And every quarter, I want you to sit down and see if you can lower the amount of stress that each one of those things is causing you. Creating the awareness is gonna help you. Thirdly, maybe you're unaware of your limitations. What are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? You know you actually can't do everything? Certain things you have to delegate. So take on the things that you feel like you can accomplish and set yourself up to win and learn to say no before you take on a big project or a big task or something you cannot handle. Don't say yes right away. Let the emotion subside, answer tomorrow. Make a decision that makes sense and something you can follow through on. Because if you keep committing to things that you can't complete, you're creating small setbacks. And this negativity is impacting your self-esteem, your identity, and your overall health, and it's causing you to be burnt out. Number four, maybe you aren't keeping things in perspective. Keeping things in perspective is basically our ability to judge the real importance of something in relation to everything else. This becomes important when things aren't going to plan, when the setbacks are rolling in, 
when the family drama is flaring up, when your health is not at optimal level, when your business month was less than ideal. See, these things sometimes can cause us real emotional stress. It's in these times we especially need to zoom out and take a 30,000 foot view and keep things in perspective. Ask yourself, will this matter three months or one year from now? Is it a bad week or a bad year? Does this setback make me a failure in life? Certainly no. You can't sweat the small stuff. Stay in the big, stay in the big. My next point, maybe you're lacking self-care. See, putting everyone and everything ahead of you is putting you on the fast track to burning out. Self-care is clinically proven to reduce stress, to improve concentration, to minimize frustration and anger, to increase happiness, to improve overall energy. That's working against being burnt out. So what's your self-care routine? There's many times in my life where I completely neglected my self-care. I put my business, my family, and everybody ahead of me, but I was dying inside, a slow death. We often give ourselves to everybody else. Let them use us and abuse us. Not that they do this intentionally, but if we allow people, thoughts, and media to suck the life out of us and drain us dry, what do we expect? Of course it's gonna happen. So the key is to set boundaries and establish personal priorities up front. When you get in an airplane and the flight attendant says, hey, if we hit turbulence, put your own oxygen mask on first. You're literally no good to anybody else if you can't take care of yourself. So maybe it's time to reevaluate your self-care routine. Stay tuned, I got some videos coming in the future about how to do that. My next point, maybe you lack community. There's a chance that there's not enough good people around you. And even though we feel busy day to day, quite often we have that feeling of being alone. Research has linked lack of social connections with health conditions, such as heart disease, high blood pressure, cancer, suicide, and early death. So make sure that you feel like you're a part of something. Get around a great group of people, a group of people that is going somewhere, a group of people that has a vision for their life. This was a priority for me when I got into business. This was the first thing that I wanted to create when we started to build our team in business. Every day, people join our team from all over North America to be a part of our community first. Then they fall in love with the industry. So I wanna challenge you to find a winning community, one that you feel connected to. So how are you feeling? Did any of those points resonate with you? Chances are they did. And some of them even resonate with me still today. Look, we're all a work in progress. None of us are perfect. For more information on how to be a part of a winning community and winning culture and a winning team, click the description below, agentholbrook.com to see if you would be a fit for our community. So, how are you feeling? Did any of those points resonate with you? Chances are they did. I know they sure did for me. Look, we're all a work in progress. All you need to do is start by being self-aware of these things so that you can start to break down the things that are causing you burnout. You're not gonna fix everything overnight. But day in, day out, you can start to work on it. You can do things like rewatch this video, share it with your team or loved ones, so that you can make sure that you put yourself in a position next year to avoid burnout. If you like this video, please take time, give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I will see you in the next video.